Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and America's 63 national parks are currently spread across only 29 of the 50 United States. So in this video, suggested by Normie Wu for winning the trivia challenge, I will be giving a national park to each of the 21 states that do not have one. Essentially creating, what if every US state had a national park? Essentially, I will take each state and name one place I think is best fit to be a national park, not necessarily based on feasibility, but just natural scenery, and things I think are kind of deserving of park status compared to others in the state. So let's jump right in. First off, we have Alabama. This one I'll be going with Little River Canyon National Preserve. This one is somewhat small, a lot of these will be, but it is enjoyable. You have a waterfall, some waterfalls actually. It's a forest area, and there's some nice hiking. It's like a smaller scale New River Gorge, and that recently became a park, so this could be one, and I think it'd be a pretty strong one for Alabama. Now for Connecticut. Connecticut, this one I'm going to go with Enders State Forest. Similar to Little River Canyon, it has waterfalls, and there's nice hiking, fishing, and bird watching. It's a solid area overall. Definitely not going to be like the greatest national park ever, but one that would be nice for that area because honestly, that part of the US doesn't have a ton in terms of national park. Delaware. This one was tough. There isn't really a ton in Delaware, and for a while there was no NPS protected properties in the state. But I will be going with Bombay Hook National Wildlife Refuge. This is overseen by the National Fish and Wildlife Service. And like many of the sites overseen by them, it is pleasant. You have river type area, it's wetlands, there's bald eagles and deer, and it's nice. I don't think it's necessarily deserving a park status, but as far as Delaware goes, I think it's probably the best area. Now for Georgia, I was considering going with Okefenokee Swamp, but I opted for the smaller but more impressive Providence Canyon State Park. This very small, but unique canyon kind of resembles the Out West Canyons. It is definitely tinier, but it's impressive geology, and it has, honestly, scenery you wouldn't expect to see east of the Mississippi at all. So I think being a sort of Grand Canyon of the East would be a pretty good claim to fame for this one, and it could fit as a national park. Now for Idaho, the first one where I'm very set on one of these places actually being a national park, Craters of the Moon National Monument, given that national park status is the highest honor for a natural place, I feel this park deserves it. It is beautiful. You have an otherworldly landscape, volcanic rock, and it really does feel like Craters of the Moon, as the name suggests. There's hiking, caving, a lot to see, and yes, Idaho technically does have a park right now because of Yellowstone being 1% in Idaho, but I really wanted to talk about Craters of the Moon nonetheless because it's a top-tier place. Illinois. This one's tough, but I'm going to go with Matheson State Park. There is a small canyon and some waterfalls like a few of the aforementioned places. I'm not sure if Illinois has as many legendary places to see for hiking and such. It's a nice state overall, but not as many national park status places, but this was probably the best one I could find. Now for Iowa. Iowa, there's one that would be very unique as a national park, but I think it would fit. Effigy Mounds National Monuments. This one's not huge on recreation, you have to do mostly do guided tours, but it has an impressive history and tours could be kind of like Mesa Verde, and there's abundant wildlife such as coyotes, deer, fox, and a whole lot more. On a similar note, Kansas, I'm going with Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve. Bison and coyotes are main wildlife here, and there's a lot more animals you can see, and that's probably the main thing to enjoy here. There's also fishing and backcountry hiking, and it's a nice place, and I think it's probably the best Kansas has to offer for natural scenery. For Louisiana, the Atchafalaya Basin is probably the top place to go. And I think that means it's worthy of park status to an extent. It's somewhat like Everglades. You have the nice bird watching and a whole lot to that. It's swamp wildlife. You'll see alligators. It's a bit of a mix of Everglades and Congaree. And I think as far as Louisiana goes, it is the most beautiful natural area. Now for Maryland, there is one place that I think actually is very much deserving of park status. It would be unique, but still very nice to see that is Assateague Island National Seashore. It has the island setting, so that's something. And there are plenty of hikes and beach activities on it. 
and a lot of interesting wildlife, including wild horses. That's the thing most people know it for, and I think this is probably the most beautiful area in Maryland, and thus, the best place to become a national park. Massachusetts, a very interesting one that I actually hadn't really known much about despite going to Boston a few times, Boston Harbor Islands National Recreation Area. There's a few islands, you can camp on them, you get views of cities, in this case Boston, and you can even do sometimes to an extent whale watching, there's plenty of lighthouses, and it's nice island scenery overall. It would be kind of like a superior version of Indiana Dunes or Biscayne, because you still have some of that nice scenery from Indiana Dunes, but also more spread out islands, and a bit more to enjoy overall. Now for Mississippi. Mississippi, there are two. Red Bluff was the first one that came to mind. This one's kind of a roadside type stop, so I opted to not have it as my number one choice for Mississippi. It'd be like a lesser Providence Canyon. Still nice, but I don't think it's particularly spectacular. But Gulf Islands National Seashore, while partially in Florida as well, I think would be a great fit. It has a mix of land activities and coastal activities. You can go to beaches, but you can also hike. On the land, you can enjoy black bear sightings. Along the water, you can see dolphins. And it's a bit of a larger one, and actually a pretty big draw for tourism and activities right now. It's a great place for recreation, and it's a top-tier spot for Mississippi in terms of natural scenery, so I think it's the best fit. Nebraska, my mind immediately went to Scott Bluffs National Monument, home of the famed Chimney Rock, a famous spot along the Oregon Trail. So if you're into history, this would be a great national park, and an excellent one for natural scenery because of how unique the Chimney Rock is. Now for the first new state, New Hampshire. There's a surprising amount of beautiful scenery in this state, and I'm going with the Grand Mount Washington. Similar to Death Valley, this one is known for weather records, though on the opposite end of the spectrum, and it's honestly an excellent one. It'd be kind of like Mount St. Helens without the Volcano Monument Park. It has an observatory, there's hikes, it's beautiful, it's somewhat small because there's not a lot surrounding the mountain, but I think it would be an amazing place to become a national park. Now for New Jersey. New Jersey, this was honestly a pretty tough one. There wasn't really a whole lot to pull from, but I'm going with the Palisades. It's along the Hudson River. You have some grand rock formations. You can do some boating. That's pretty much all I had to say about that one, but it would be still a nice place to have some federal protection. Now for New York, my mind went to Niagara Falls at first, but then I remember this one's already kind of developed in a way that it should probably stay as a state park. However, Adirondack Park National Historic Landmark is definitely a contender to be a national park. The Adirondacks are beautiful. The fall colors especially stand out. You have hikes, there's rivers, lakes, you can do whitewater rafting, fishing, a lot of activities. One thing is that there's currently hunting allowed, so they have to change a few things if that become a national park. But I think if it did become a national park, it would be among the best in the East. And that is saying quite a bit, because there are a few very beautiful places east of the Mississippi, but Adirondack would be a wonderful spot. Now for Oklahoma, this is my weirdest pick, Chickasaw National Recreation Area. Not because it's not deserving a park status, but because it used to have it. It was once known as Platte National Park, and the river in the park is still a pleasant one. I still think there's a lot of recreation to enjoy here, and there's some marvelous wildlife. I don't think it is necessarily one of the best places that's not a national park right now, but I enjoyed it, and from bison to armadillos, I think it's among the best wildlife spots in Oklahoma, so it's probably the top contender to become a national park in Oklahoma if they ever did that. Now for Pennsylvania. This one, I technically am lumping it with another state once again, but Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area, this many think will be the next national park, and I can see why. I personally have not been, but it has hikes, grand views of a large river, there are waterfalls. It's not like any other eastern national park scenery, so it would stand out, but there's still wonderful recreation and a whole lot to enjoy. I think it would be a spectacular one, and it's definitely the top place in Pennsylvania for me. Now for Rhode Island, another tough one because the state is small and doesn't have as many grand natural places, but Beaver Tail State Park, while small, could fit the bill. There's a beautiful lighthouse, 
and there's a rocky coastline, and it's similar to some Australian national parks, in terms of size even, so I think it would work just fine. Now for Vermont, this one I'm going to go with Queechee State Park, I assume that's how you pronounce that, but I don't know. It's not one that has a whole lot to offer, but New River Gorge is the one that it's most similar to. You have some small waterfalls and a river running through a forested canyon type place. So I think it would work, but Vermont is definitely not the best state for a next national park. Now Wisconsin has a place that is very much deserving of park status, far more than a certain other lakeshore that did receive status fairly recently. That is Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. In Lake Superior, you have a few islands, some of which have very odd rock formations that you can't really see anywhere else in the Great Lakes. There's hiking, water activities, a lot of islands to go to, some interesting wildlife. It would be the perfect mix of Isle Royal for the nice lake setting and Channel Islands for the variety of different islands to go to. I think it would definitely be one of the best national parks of the 21 I've laid out. And with that, we've gone through all the states. So we have a very interesting lineup, some of which I don't think I ever see becoming national parks. But I think Idaho and Wisconsin and a couple of the others are very likely to become national parks in the future in terms of Craters of the Moon and Apostle Islands. And I think if we look back at this video in the far future, maybe some of these will come true. But who knows? Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time.